long day of travel yesterday. We made it to the Virgin Islands National Park, our 28th so National Park. So excited to be here. The park is established in 1956 and is on the island of St. John of the U.S. Virgin Islands. The park covers more than half the island and is home to coral reefs, seagrass beds, mangroves, and the largest tropical rainforest remaining in the Caribbean. Additionally, the park is home to shipwrecks and many of the ruins of the 109 sugar plantations that once operated on the island. Our goal today is to visit as many of the beaches as we can. So we rented some snorkel equipment in town to bring between all of them. But we're starting the day with the Peace Hill Overlook Trail, which is a 0.2 mile trail up a hill that's supposed to have really good views of Hawks Nest Bay and Trunk Bay. There is a short little spur off the Peace Hill Trail, probably another 0.2 miles or so, that goes down the hill to our first beach of the day, Dennis Bay, which it's right in the wind, so we're probably not gonna do a lot of swimming here, but we were so close, we at least wanted to check it out. Unfortunately, the parking for Trunk Bay was smaller than we even initially thought. Got there a little bit too late after picking up the snorkel gear and doing the Peace Hill Trail. So we drove down the road a little bit further to Cinnamon Bay, but we're still really looking forward to it nonetheless. Cinnamon Bay was so pretty. It was so beautiful. It's just the watercolor, which it's like that everywhere, but to get up close and be able to get in the water mm -hmm. there was a lot of fun. And then snorkeling out. I've never snorkeled before and I really enjoyed it. I still have a few things to, to learn, obviously after my first time, but snorkeled out a little ways and found a reef a little bit offshore. Yeah, snorkeling didn't go so well for me, but I'm gonna practice and hopefully make it out to a reef. Yeah, either later today if there's a parking spot available, otherwise early tomorrow we're gonna have to check out Trunk Bay. There's a snorkel mm -hmm. trail there that's supposed to be pretty good for beginners if the wind and the waves allow you to take it. So hopefully we can check that out, get in the water and get that down. <laughs> but now we're at the Annaberg Sugar Plantations, which are the ruins of a mill in this area. So let's go check them out. The Annaberg Sugar Plantation operated from 1798 to 1860, but stopped being profitable really around 1840. At its height, there were 662 enslaved workers here and about 770 acres up on the hill behind me that were terraced primarily for growing sugarcane, but a few other products as well. Annaberg was actually among the most successful plantations on St. John as well. When we were up at the Annaberg Overlook, we saw some sea turtles down in the water below. So after that, we decided to come down and walk along the shore and sure enough, they're still here. They're so cute. They are. And since we didn't get to see any in Florida, like in the Keys or Biscayne, I'm really glad we got to see some here. It's a little wavy to get a really clear shot of them, but they look like brown rocks moving along the bottom and then you can catch them surfacing every once in a while. There's maybe, what, three or four of them? Yeah. On the drive back to Cruise Bay, we decided to check the Trunk Bay parking lot and sure enough, there was a spot open. So we're gonna be able to check it out today instead of having to get up early to come in tomorrow. Now there is a taxi drop off here. You can take it in from Cruise Bay if you can't find a spot. But this is the most renowned beach in the park and we're really excited that we got a spot here.
Trunk Bay was amazing. So really great. glad we got a parking spot there instead of having to take a taxi out to it. And the snorkel trail was a really good way for beginners to explore it because it's right up on shore. It is a little bit deeper than the one out in Cinnamon Bay, but Kelly at least got I in did, the water I this time. I conquered my fear. I did it. I snorkeled. And you had a really good time. I did. I had a good time. The, the reef, it, there's so many like fish diversity, lots of coral, and it, it gets a little bit deeper, but then the reef kind of comes up a little bit too. Mm -hmm. So when you're out there, it although you're far right. out, it doesn't feel deep at all. It's easy to stay out there just for hours and hours. Mm -hmm. After Trunk Bay, we decided to swing back into Cruise Bay, Mongoose Junction. There's a place here called St. John Scoops to get some ice cream. They have uh, adult ice cream here as well. So we got, I got the painkiller ice cream. I haven't tried it yet. And Kelly got the Red Hot Rum ice cream. Let's give this a try, see how it is. That's really good. I'm not usually one for fruity ice cream, but that is really solid. Mmm, it's really good. It's cinnamony. After ice cream, we're gonna spend the rest of the evening tonight in the Mongoose Junction area of Cruise Bay, exploring some shops before heading back to the hotel to get ready for more beaches and a hike tomorrow. We're starting our day today nice and early at Maho Bay on kind of the east side of the park. We were given a suggestion at the visitor center yesterday that because of the seagrass beds here, if we start early before other people and other boats show up, we have a chance to see sea turtles much closer than we did yesterday. So it'll probably be a little bit chilly, but fingers crossed we're able to see some. Bay was so cool. It was awesome. We got there nice and early so there's no people and the water was calm. We got to see sea turtles and a stingray. Yeah, it took a while to find the turtles, but once we did, it was instantly worth the extra day on the snorkel rentals, getting up early to go there and spending mm -hmm. only an hour, hour and a half trying to find them. And yeah, stingray, we didn't see anything like that yesterday yeah. too, so that was awesome. Now we're gonna do the Reef Bay Trail, which is 2.2 miles one way, so 4.4 round trip kind of down a mountain hill area on the interior of the island. It'll go by some petroglyphs and then make its way out to an abandoned sugar plantation. Petroglyphs were created sometime between 900 and 1500 AD by the pre-Columbian Taino people. The art on the petroglyphs as well is pretty similar to the art that they use on their pottery that's been discovered. The 
Reef Bay Mill is one of the most intact on the island of St. John, largely because it was the last operating sugar mill, closing after hurricane damage it sustained in 1917. morning here with the Linda Point Trail from the Visitor Center. It's about a two mile round trip. It hikes kind of along a ridge out to Honeymoon Beach. We're just hiking it on foot. We walked here from our hotel, but if you're parking at the Visitor Center, you do need to go inside to get a parking permit to be able to keep your vehicle there. There is actually another beach on the Lynn Point Trail. It's lesser known than Honeymoon Beach, but that also means there's less people here. It's Solomon Beach, and there's an offshoot from the Lynn Point Trail that's probably about 0.3 miles each way. Keep in mind as well, if you're doing hikes relatively early in the morning, that has not given other people a chance to go through the trail first and clear out the spiders with their faces. So that's gonna be up to you. You'll definitely run into thing? some, yeah. It'll be up to whoever's at the front of the lead. Not me. So, yeah. Not me. Uh, they have some little ones, uh, but they also have some very, very big ones. So a lot of times when you're hiking, you know, you have your eyes down, you're watching the trail to make sure you don't trip. You also have to have your eyes up to make sure you don't walk into a spider the size of your palm. Yeah. Sadly, that is gonna do it for our time at Virgin Islands National Park. It was completely amazing. Yeah, I don't have the words to describe it. It was just so crazy to be here. Around every corner, it was like, this place doesn't feel real. This place doesn't feel real. It's easily the most unique national park we've been to and definitely one of the best. We, we absolutely loved mm -hmm. it. And stay tuned after this. We are also going to have a video of things to know when traveling here. We were going to include some of that in this video, but there's just so much. It can be a whole different video on its own because like we said, it's just such a unique place. Mm -hmm. So be sure to stay tuned for that, but that's gonna do it for our time at Virgin Islands National Park.